It was good here, most of the time it passes on top, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's so steep, so just keep a little bit. The other clearing. What's up everyone? So most of you already know the genus Cricola, which is a genus of small Saturnidae moths. But fewer people know about its relative. Um, it's a more colorful cousin, which, of which I just found a male here in Laos. And it is the genus Lemarea. And I'm really impressed by its colors right now. It's small but has a very detailed pattern. Unfortunately, it's a male, so I will be doing no breeding with this species. Although there's still a small chance that a female will come to my trap. Although females are more rare. Um, I'm in their habitat, so there's a chance it will happen. Either way, I'm happy to show the Saturnidae. Which is not one I've seen before, showed before on my YouTube channel. So I am trapping moths in Laos and today my light trap attracted one very common species and although it's common it's really nice to see it's the Lissa Zampa a tropical Australasian type of Uranidae moth and I believe their host plant is Endospermum they have a really unique biology where they can have a synchronized peak flight and they can be scarce for many years um, up until all of them hatch from their cocoons at the same time causing a huge peak in population and a synchronized flight um, for example in Singapore one time this moth was so common that it was uh, considered a pest where it basically uh, engulfed the entire city and all the lights of the city with millions and millions of individuals I do not know if the Lesser Sampa is breedable. I do not know if anyone has tried, but it could be very challenging and complicated. I will see uh, what I can do about trying to figure out the life cycle of this beautiful insect in captivity. Last but not least, here's one fun fact. In some cultures, people believe that these moths are the uh, souls of relatives and friends that have died returning um, to the underworld. And for that reason, in these cultures, people do not like to harm them and see them as sacred. It's certainly a very common moth, but despite its commonness, it's really fascinating and mysterious. And we don't know that much about it. So there you go. So I'm moth trapping here in a higher elevation location and very common is this Trabala species here. Collected one male and one female for this video but in reality there are many of them. The male is green and the female is yellow. On my YouTube channel I bred many Trabala before, mainly Trabala Vishnu, but I'm not sure if this is the same species. Somehow it looks different from the other Trabala that I've seen. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna take the eggs home and breed them to find out. So stay tuned.
So I'm trapping in the highland now instead of lowland. And I just caught this strange looking, oh god, this strange looking male of Cricula. Uh, I don't think it's three fenestrata, I think it's the Cricula Andrei, perhaps. It's very differently colored. So, I think I just ruined the specimen, but uh, yeah, these guys need some research. Okay, so I'm sitting at the light. It's really late, like 5 o'clock. It's getting real cold here at the mountain. And I just catch this huge ass female of a leopard moth. So I have no clue of the genus yet or the species, but wow. Look at that shit. <laughs> she's huge. One of the bigger. And she's licking eggs everywhere. So. This is all good news because I'm gonna breed the hell out of this species when I come home. Hi everyone and thanks for watching. My name is Bart Koppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby, but thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia, which is part of the video series that you are watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as, as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, please consider joining. And otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.